They're seeing a mystery. NASA is preparing to launch up to five rockets into nature's eeriest light show. Alex Dimitrik reports when it comes to auroras, there is still a lot to learn. Auroras are kind of like a bruise caused by colliding forces. In this case, high energy particles released by the sun striking Earth's magnetic field and upper atmosphere. The aurora is one of the most fascinating uh, topics in space physics today, and it still has a lot of important mysteries that we need to unlock. Dr. Robert Pfaff of NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center is hoping small sounding rockets will be the key. His mission to Alaska will launch two into an aurora. That energy comes down into the upper atmosphere and it creates the beautiful aurora, but it also heats the upper atmosphere, sets it in motion, does a lot of, there's a lot of physical processes that you can't see with your eye that we're going to be measuring with these rockets and try to understand this interaction. Because people aboard the International Space Station travel through that same space, and heavy bombardment of highly charged particles can pose risks. Communication satellites are especially vulnerable to damage, as are electric power grids on Earth. Unlike satellites, which can orbit and collect data for years, this mission is measured in minutes. A pair of sounding rockets will launch together into an aurora, one going 100 miles up, the other 200 miles up, creating a fast vertical sampling of an aurora's components. You get 10 minutes, but it's, it's a great 10 minutes. Which will take months to analyze long after the rockets fall back to Earth. Alex Dimitri, WJZ Eyewitness News. Alex, thank you. And there will be a total of three separate rocket launches, each looking to unlock a different piece of auroras.